And hello everyone, welcome to another video. A very short notice video that I did not intend on making because I didn't know that they were going to release a Resident Evil 8 demo tonight. Um, there was a showcase earlier on, I haven't watched it, I was going to watch it tomorrow. Because um, it is very, very late in the UK right now. But they dropped a freaking demo for the PS5, um, so far only the PS5, uh, for Resident Evil 8 Village. AKA Resident Evil 8. Now, I've only seen like the first trailer they showed off for this game. I'm so fucking excited. I love Resident Evil. And uh, the fact that they're going back to first person is, is really interesting to me because I thought 7 was terrifying uh, for that reason. So, we're going to play the new demo called Maiden. Now, I know nothing about this demo. Uh, I have seen no gameplay because it is literally just dropped on the store. In fact, it kind of crashed the PSN store because uh, I think so many people were trying to download it. But we are going to start. Make sure all the settings are correct. Um, should be fine. Well, at least we have... Do we have subtitles? Do we have subtitles? We do. Okay, let's begin. Resident Evil 8 demo... Maiden. I'm absolutely terrified, by the way. <laughs> Resident Evil Escape the Dungeon? Oh my god. Yeah, I've seen nothing uh, of this. I didn't watch the showcase. We are in a dungeon. Uh, well, there's something in the wall. But at least, at least we have a toilet. I, I don't know if I'm going to be shitting myself playing this. I guess we're not getting through the door. What is this hole in the wall? It's a scrap of paper. Let's examine it. Scrap of paper. An old scrap of paper buried in the wall. I think someone left a message. How do we read it? To whomever is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you will have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of the cell. Look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees if you must. Then search for the thing you'll need to escape. It will be hidden where the least uh, suspect. Soaked in blood. Lovely. Um, once you get out of the dungeon, you should find yourself in a room. The door there won't be... Uh, won't lead to salvation. The light will lead you down the right path. You might hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed hidden somewhere. Once you find the ladder, the only way is up. But watch out! Don't let them see you. To, uh, I plan to make my escape tonight and pray that you two will make it out alive. Okay. Whoever left me that note, thank you. I mean, it could be my captors fucking with me. But... They said, get on my hands and knees. So can I... Ah, can I crawl under my... Bed? Ooh. Could you... Could you crouch in seven? I played seven to death when it came out, like a few years ago, and I do not remember if you could. And yes, I've got my headset turned up nice and loud, so anything jumping out at me will probably elicit some sort of reaction. Well, we're just in another... S Maybe it's not turned up loud enough, hang on. I thought I heard something then. Or is it just water dripping? Oh, is that my footsteps? That was my footsteps. I was scared of my own footsteps. Okay, also... Uh... Uh... Oh! Why did I open the door? I didn't want to do that. I felt safe in the... Oh! Oh, we are not in a good place. I mean, 
We probably should have already known that. Where did it say to go? They said the door wouldn't lead to salvation but follow the light. Oh, I don't like this. Medicines for keeping livestock alive. Am I the livestock? Is it me? Like, instantly, this is already way more terrifying than Resident Evil 2 or 3 Remake. As much as I love those games, and don't get me wrong, I do. But the first-person perspective just puts you right in there, doesn't it? Ugh. Uh, yeah, I don't... Don't uh, have any bolt cutters. I swear, if something jumps out of me, I'm gonna fucking cry. Anything in these barrels? Certainly not any laughs. No, no, not in this place. Lovely chairs. Very comfy. 10 out of 10 would get impaled again. Did someone just open a door? Fuck. That. Oh! Now didn't- yeah, didn't they say something I need is gonna be in the blood? Is this what they meant? Hello? Please don't get up. Please stay dead. Hello? I don't think I should be here. I don't want to know what they do with those. Oh, how's it hanging, dude? You seem to be missing some limbs. Oh, no. This is horrific. Some sort of medieval torture basement. Oh, no, I don't want to wear that. Now, they said door is bad, right? Again, I don't have a key. What? Oh no, that wasn't the cell with the woman. I was about to say, shit, if she's, if she's disappeared, I'm fucking gone, mate. I'm turning it off. She has moved! Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, she, maybe she just fell down. Maybe she just fell down and thank you for the bolt cutters that were lodged in your back. Please don't get up. Please don't get up. Help me, brother. What? Was that there last time? Was that there last time? Right, now the question is, which cell do I open first? I don't... I don't really want to open any of them. Oh, fuck me! Fucking body bags falling from the fucking ceiling. Is that the dude's legs? Uh. Uh. I don't really want to do this. Hey, pal. Anything in here? Blood. Ah! Ah. I mean, I don't- I don't think I'd want to be dipping my hand in that, really. But I guess here goes. Thank you for the very loud, scary item pickup noise. We have a lockpick. I can hear 
chains jingling. Now, is that just the wind or the the draft causing that, or is there someone down here? Well, we know we we know we have to use that on that box. What was that with the dudes? There was another cell, wasn't there? There was two cells I could open. Can I run? Oh, I can. What the fuck was that? Why are you moving? Why you stay back in your cell, missy? <laughs> Something's trying to get through that barricade. Doesn't sound good. Don't know why I'm opening this cell. I don't think that's going to help me. I should probably just run. Yeah, nothing in here. Hey, dude. Oh. Nope. Nope. I'm gone. I'm gone. See you later. See you later. Open the fucking box a bit quicker than that, please. Lights? Good? Said door? Not... Uh, whoa. What is this place? Said light will be... They, they said light will be my salvation, but the door wouldn't be or something? I mean, this is the only way I can go. Is there anything... Is that? That ain't wine. Or booze. That's not good. Let's follow the trail of blood. Huh. There's a dude in that barrel. Okay, so they've kept up the tradition of questionable diets. Uh, I don't think we should be touching the record player. This stinks so bad. Yeah, that didn't look good. Where did... Oh, did they go through that door? There's a chest. Oh, hang on. Ah! That was my own footsteps. That shits me up every time. Can I not just take... I mean, I know it's only a butter knife. But some sort of weapon? Should we check? I don't think we should be checking this. Dance macabre. Okay. Oh, macabre. Yeah, let's, um... Let's, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Don't be anything on the other side. Okay. Oh, uh, why is that brick got blood on it? Fucking hell.
<laughs> I really don't want to go any further. Ah, the ladder. The ladder that the, the note mentioned. How the hell did they know? Did they have a, an escape attempt already? June 9th, 1958. Oh, wow, we're going back quite a ways. Because I, I know that from what, from the trailer, Ethan from Seven is involved. And I think uh, Maya is as well. But I have no idea what what the plot is. So, it was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. We're dealing with vampires, aren't we? I mean, I've seen... I've seen the tall lady in the, in the trailer. Is she... Is she a vampire? And how does that fit in with the Resident Evil lore? It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, uh, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. Me too. Me too. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, fuck. I mean, who are we even playing as? I don't know. This is very reminiscent of the demos they had for Resident Evil 7. Like, is this even part of the game? It, it probably just ties into the lore. Of some unfortunate soul dealing with the villains. Ooh, shit, we are in the main part of the castle now. It's very nice. In a creepy, gothic kind of way. Can I please pick up a brick or something? Can I defend myself in any way? Oh, fuck me. Hello? The note said, don't let them see you. I don't intend on being seen, but... Oh, this is... This is horrible. That door is locked. Can I not do anything with it? Nope. Making that noise. It's like something crawling about. Or is it something else? God, this place looks amazing though. I remember seeing a, a glimpse of this room in the trailer. Is anyone down there? Don't think so. We ain't getting out. We we ain't getting out of this place. That's not how this story ends. We are so fucked. We just don't know it yet. I 
I, I, I love old spooky places like this in Resident Evil. It just feels right, but what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And do I examine it yet, or do I just keep going? Oh, okay, I'm gonna need something for it. An eye with an empty socket. Okay, we need to find an eye. I guess we'll keep an eye out. Or, but it would have been funny if I said she's keeping an eye out, because she doesn't have an eye in one of her sockets. Anyway. Um... Anyone in there? Hello? Can't open any of these doors. It's only a matter of time before something jumps out at me, is that? Looks like we're going down. Looks like we're going down. This place is a bust. I'm telling you, they, they've nailed the atmosphere so far. This is good. And it's, it's bad, but it's good. <laughs> nope. Nope. Nothing's funny. This is not funny. Not in the slightest. I'm gonna hide behind the stairs. This is my safe place. Nothing can hurt me here. Guessing the door ain't gonna open. Shit. Now which... Which way do I go? That way? Or that way? Ooh. These are like clothes. These are like the clothes I'm wearing. Oh, wonderful. Candidates. Irina, Mihaela, Lois? Nah, <laughs> Lois. Rejects. Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camellia, Bianca, Melina, Astrid, Lude Miller, Rosalinda, Lena, Stefana, Gabriella. What is going on in this place? Ooh, yeah, let's not follow that blood just yet. That, uh, that little bit of music in the background kind of reminds me of a, of a save room theme a little bit, but just creepier. Okay, nothing in that drawer, just a bunch of bloody documents. Okay, locked. I think it's time for a spot of tea. That's a very nice mug. That's some nice china. You ruined it. You ruined it. It was nice. It was so nice. Right, we opened that drawer. Oh no, we didn't. That's a different drawer. Nothing in it though. I was afraid this would be open. Oh, it looks cold in here. The window's open. Oh, that looks chilly outside. But oh, so fucking cool. Locked. It's very dark. Oh, there's something in the... Every time I pick up an item, it scares the fuck out of me. Moon Eye Ring. Well, that's probably what we need for the thing upstairs, then. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very much digging the vibes. Guessing I won't be able to go outside. Oh, there's a... There's a keyhole. Looks like I'll have to come back. I hope nothing's gonna bust through that window. 
I heard something snarl downstairs. Is it going to be vampires and werewolves? Oh, fuck me. Someone was just above me. I don't like this. I don't know if crouching really helps, it just makes me feel safer, like maybe they won't see me immediately if I'm crouched. Alright, let's try using this ring, unless we can examine the ring. Can we oh, hang on, yeah we can. Take the eye out, okay, maroon eye. A blood red gemstone in the shape of an evil eye. There you go. What did that do? Oh, secret room. Looks nice and cozy. Yeah, that that that's just full of blood. That's just straight up blood wine. Don't know if now's the time to really be looting the place, but we need to find something. Courtyard key. Okay. Okay. What is this? Because, you know, we totally take the time to just read out of this book. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu? I'm probably saying that wrong. Can be traced as far back as the 15th century. Long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu? I'm definitely saying that wrong. Um... Uses a le this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor, intensity, and bestow it with thick bouquet. It's just, you're just putting blood in it, aren't you? Maiden's blood is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. You know what this is giving me vibes of? Um, what was her name? There was a countess in history that was, uh, like, urban legend or maybe there was evidence that she she drank or killed her like female servants to get their blood so she could stay young i can't remember the name of her um but she was like a real historical figure it's just i don't know whether she actually did all that shit um okay we have the key are we gonna get to that door to use it I don't know. I'm watching you. You fucking what? Nope. Nope. I won't last until dinner. Oh, come on. Are you serious? How's it feel? Not good. No, not great. Not gonna lie. Let me get outside. They might not like the cold. They might not like the cold if they didn't want that dude opening the windows. Please get me out of here. So we finally. You are tall. <laughs> Thanks for playing through our visual showcase. Pre-order Resident Evil Village today. Fucking hell. This is going to be a crazy game. I'm very excited for it. They're definitely going for a... Um, almost like a Transylvania kind of feel. It looks to be vampires. I mean, she did take a big bite of, out of our neck. I have no idea what the fucking finger knives are all about. Um, and she's kind of hot. So I am so fucking ready for this. It's coming out May 7th, I believe. 
Uh, I am going to be playing the shit out of it. I'm going to be doing a playthrough. Thank you for watching my experience of the uh, Resident Evil Maiden demo, everyone. I am going to go edit this now. And, uh, yeah, I, I really... Did. Just a few things before I sign off. Love the visual design. Atmosphere. Top-notch. It's just like Resident Evil 7 in the way that it feels, which is great. Um, I also just made a farting noise with my hands. And, uh... Looks like some pretty terrifying antagonists, so I'm... I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Go. Um, it's only on PS5 at the moment. I don't know if there's going to be uh, another demo coming in the spring. Uh, I still need to watch the showcase, so I'm going to go watch the showcase tomorrow. See uh, if there's any other news, because I think there's a multiplayer Resident Evil coming out as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed my demo playthrough, and... Uh, Hope to see you for some Resident Evil 8 when it eventually comes out. So, bye-bye for now.